to see everybody. This is a uh, this is a great crowd. Uh, two months ago, uh, Senator Chance and I were in the program, and there were not near as many people here. <laughs> I'm going I'm to take that as a comment that, that y'all are all really excited about hearing what the speaker has to say, and not a comment on how boring uh, Senator Chance and I are speaking. So great to see everybody out. Um, our speaker today probably needs no introduction. He told me to make it very short, so I will. Uh, speaker Glenn Richardson, he's born in Douglas County, went to undergraduate at Georgia State University and law school at Georgia State, the same law school I went to. He graduated a year or two before I did. Uh, actually, I think he was a year or two. In 1996, uh, Glenn Richardson was the first Republican elected to the State House from Paulding County since Reconstruction. Uh, he rose quickly through the ranks, and in, in 2003, he was selected by uh, the members of the Republican caucus to serve as the minority leader in the House. Uh, over the next two years, he spearheaded the effort to take back control of the House of Republicans for the first time since Reconstruction. And in 2005, he was recognized for all those efforts and was selected uh, as the first Republican Speaker of the House in 130 years. Uh, Tenure speaker, he is he has held the line on, on, on all manner of conservative issues, and we've gotten a lot done in the last few years. Uh, he has led the effort to stamp out voter fraud by requiring by requiring photo IDs. Uh, <laughs> incidentally, got vindicated uh, in, in in court in the last week. Uh, uh, he's led the effort to protect property rights, reining in some abuses of eminent domain. Uh, he's led the effort to pass tough new laws uh, against sexual predators. Uh, and of course, we, we passed a landmark, the first year we came in as Republican, passed a landmark court reform that Speaker Richardson Speaker Richard is one of the leaders on. Uh, and I want to personally thank him. Uh, I, I came in in December, and uh, uh, the Speaker of the House, you just have no idea uh, how daunting a job it is and, and, and the, the responsibility. It's not just standing up there and presiding over the procedure. He's in charge of everything from the office assignments to the committee assignments. Uh, to the parking assignments, and uh, I came in under different circumstances, and he and his staff have really worked hard to welcome me to the House and, and allow me to really, from day one, serve you down in the General Assembly, uh, and, and I just appreciate appreciate all you've done uh, in that regard, although I would like uh, in the next month to come see you about a couple of my committees, <laughs> that's okay, uh, but, but anyway, um, and I want to tell you all one more story before I turn it over to him, and this is he has he has 180 members, 179 not including him in the House, and every one of them has a, a vital local issue, uh, 159 counties, and they all come to Speaker Richardson when that's coming up. And we had a pretty important issue. Uh, you may have heard about district voting uh, that was uh, dealt with uh, this session of the General Assembly. Um, a uh, one of the members of the Fayette County delegation introduced legislation to impose district voting. Uh, through the local legislative process at, 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 at the State House. Uh, and of course, I, I went to Speaker Richardson and John Yates went to Speaker Richardson. We told him how important it was to Fayette County that, that this not happen at the State Capitol. It's not supported by our local community or our local elected officials. Uh, so we, we went and we, we did our work. Senator Chance and I and, and John Yates, we talked to all of our friends on the House side. We spread the word about it. But when, the, when it came up before, you just never know if people are going to be paying attention. I, I can tell you the other 158 counties really could care less how we elect our county commissioners. But it's important to us. So we, we, we spread the word, but you never know how it's going to go. So on the day of the debate, you don't you hope everybody's paying attention. Uh, the, the biggest supporter of uh, district voting uh, was standing up and, and was asking some parliamentary inquiries of the speaker. And he says, uh, you know, Mr. Speaker, is it not true that, that Fulton County has district voting? And he goes through the whole litany of the counties. He goes, is it not true that, uh, that Paulding County, Speaker Richardson's home county, has district voting? And it was like his, he thought he had had his Perry Mason gotcha moment when he, when he asked the speaker that. And the speaker, the speaker, quick on his feet, said, you know, you're right, we do, we do have district voting. In fact, we put it in three years ago, and I sponsored the legislation. But I also had accompanying that le legislation a unanimous resolution from the county commission of Paulding County supporting, supporting that. And uh, every member of the House on their desk had a letter from our county commission chairman saying we unanimously opposed it. So it really kind of it kind of focused the debate on, on the heart of the issue, helped us to get an overwhelming vote in his favor, uh, and, and and that's one of the one of the many ways he's helped our community. So without further ado, I want to introduce the uh, speaker of the house. He's going to tell you what we did and didn't do this session, and uh, it's my honor to introduce Glenn Richardson, the speaker. Of the